Hey, what up y'all? Mr. Cruz here, the hardest worker in the room, back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my MIDI packs. So not that long ago, I put out a free MIDI pack. Uh, well, it was free at the time. See, if you're following me, you get the gems early, you know what I'm saying? You get the hookup. I got the hookup. I put out my midi pack for free for the first week and actually right now I'm working on another midi pack So I wanted to give you guys an inside look into how I make my midi packs So first of all, you need to come up with a midi pattern now in a previous video I went over how I kind of create my patterns and how I go from chords to melodies and all this other stuff So I'm not gonna do that here and here. I already got my pattern set. All right, so let's take a listen to it All right, so what I want to do is I want to kind of take that, turn it into a MIDI file, and then put it in a pack and all this other stuff so that I can share it with other people. So here's the first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I export this. But before I export, I need to know two things because I like to label all of my MIDIs with the BPM that I suggest and whatever scale that melody was originally in. I know that it's 142 BPM, and I do believe this is an E sharp minor. Um, nope, just E minor. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to file, export as MIDI file, and it's only going to export that right there. So I'm going to go up to my desktop. Uh, this is it right here, overtime MIDI pack. And we're going to call this um, troubled times underscore E minor underscore 140, 142 BPM. And then I also like to include just a little suggestion as to what type of instrument I created it with. So I'm going to put piano. You know, because it's going to sound really hard or really weird if, you know, somebody went with a synth on this when obviously, like, if they use a monophonic synth, because obviously it's not going to sound really good. Are you going to tell me no again? No, I'm not. No, at, wrong answer. All right. So that's pretty much all I do. The other thing that I also make sure to include in my MIDI packs is something that looks like this. This is a little readme file that tells um, whoever downloaded it a little something about me. And if they wanted to reach out in case, you know, they use a MIDI that ended up on a placement, especially if they didn't change it, or if they wanted to reach out to me, some sort of contact information so that they can kind of communicate and connect with me in the future if they want to. Freeze! I'm thirsty. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully it's helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz, out.